Hello everybody, welcome to week 5 of Super League and here we have Why No Undead? Have an undead team, what a great matchup. Week 5, Artemis Black versus Seabros. They've got identical builds as well, they've both gone for the 2 point um, package of 3 guard, tackle, block and 2 wrestle. So they've got identical, a mirror in every sense. And Artemis has chosen to receive the ball, but yeah, a great, a great couple of teams. I'll I'll flash the table up right now so that you can see this for reference. That's not the table at all. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. That, they were the matches though. Here's the table. We've got Olivier on six points, and we've got a three-way tie for second with Seabro, Strider, and Bright all on five points. So it's very exciting at the moment, all to play for. Artemis has lost every single game, so he's only playing for pride at this point. But, um, you know, Sea Bros will be hoping that Artemis doesn't give his all here because this would be, would be a very tough match. Um, you know, like, it's just that... There you go. Yeah, just a little flash. Ah, yeah. uh, King of the Impossible. Hello, Keith. Well, that would be incredible, Spiro. Hello, Steve. Did well in the rumble just then, Steve. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, it was pretty glorious. It was a rumble. A rumble to fill time. Wow, I'm excited. I'm excited to look at this... Uh, this Google Drive of all the old... All the old videos. GFW, incredible. <laughs> All of the Lord of the Rings stuff. Oh, wow. Right, let's focus on this game here. Um, so, yeah, Art is going to punch things. He's got a touch back. And we've got the three deep um, rule of five. Which is a good thing to use against Undead, right? Because they'd have to GFI to blitz you. Or rush. Rush now, they'd have to rush to hit you. <laughs> Already you can hear Art going crazy that he's got two, three dice blocks. No, no, pow. Uh, there was no Lizards in any season of Blood Bowl 3 Super League. That's crazy, isn't it? So, that... I still think they were strong, but nobody took them. Very strange. Um, so I guess that makes it look like the best the best composition for Euro Bowl was probably um, not having lizards and having vampires instead. Kind of crazy, right? You'd think, I would have thought people would have taken lizards, but literally nobody chose them, ever. Maybe it's because it's just a bit boring, yeah. Yeah, maybe. You'd have thought somebody would have used them. I'm pretty sure nobody used them at all in three seasons. I'm pretty sure in three seasons not one person used lizard man. Though I guess there's less people choosing right because like Strider was always going to use his Wood Elf team for Euro Bowl Olivier was always going to use Wood Elves Tree was always going to use Wood Elves Sol was always going to use Rats so I guess there was a bit you know some people were just kind of committed to using what they were using so they both benched the skillless ghoul they've been basically forced to include. Obviously you've got to go max ghouls. Oh yeah, I'll also flash up the ring so you can see you know, vaguely what the different positionals are. Green ghouls, yellow, whites. Obviously the mummies don't need rings, but there you go. They decided to give big guys the most distinctive colour, in case you couldn't tell that the gigantic fellas were, <laughs> were the blockers. I mean, Strider won uh, 
won the season two finals with the Lizard Thrones. You'd have thought he might have gone for them, but he was practicing for Euro Bowl, so was was always going to use his woodies. Oh my god, there's an advert here for Salem's Lot. <laughs> Which, funnily enough, if you can hear this, <laughs> this isn't making any sense because you're seeing the advert, right? <laughs> I, probably, I probably should wait for the advert to, to end. Is Elliot here? Let, let me just check one moment. I am here. <laughs> <laughs> it appears he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, what's happening? Oh, he got to hit the mummy. Oh, got to hit the mummy. Of course, he did nothing to it. Just needs normal dice. <laughs> it's gonna be a. It's definitely gonna be like a mummy rush into a dead mummy, right? Oh, you're gonna get a foul or four assist foul. We are going to get a four assist foul here. Though maybe not now. Wouldn't you have, uh, like, caged here, right? And he's moved there now. That's weird. Maybe that could have been an extra assist. He's just not. He's just not gonna go out on the corner. But couldn't this guy get him now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not really. I guess. Fair enough. Then. Okay, old mummy. That's huge. Sent off. Doesn't get the argue the call. But that's still huge. Uh, okay, old mummy. Left him a bit exposed there, didn't he, see, bros? You know, blitzed into a big gang foul is the absolute worst thing that can happen to your mummies. So, yeah, sloppy positioning from sea bros punished. Rowdy non Apo, yeah. Personally, I would have appled that. I don't know what sea bros was thinking, the big noob. Hello, Rimbo. Now it's just surviving, right? Sea Rose is just looking at a draw best result. Which is gonna be hard for him to qualify with. Because how on earth do you get the turnover now? Down a mummy. Very, very difficult for Sea Rose. Maybe it's like protect them from retribution. But surely you could have, you know, put this guy here and 3 d this fella. Oh, because he wants to tackle the ghoul. Oh, okay. Well, it's okay, I guess. Tackling a ghoul, what a big nerd. What a big grind nerd. That's fair enough, of course. It's fair enough tackling a ghoul. I didn't even think of it. I would just I would have just wanted a three D. Either three D the ghoul or three D the the white, but um I'd rather three D with mighty blow than two D with tackle. Cause you wanna kill it, don't you, at the end of the day. At the end of the day you just wanna kill it. You don't wanna, wanna remove it, you don't wanna 
knock it over and not remove it. And you're only a little bit, you're like, you're more likely to remove it by hitting it with Mighty Blow. Even though you're less likely to knock it down. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Failed regen. Art's desire to concede intensifies. <laughs> I called it last turn, but Seabros didn't make the GFI then. <laughs> but, um, wow, that's amazing. I'll have to ask my core commentator what he thinks of that. I am here. Ah, thank you, Elliot. <laughs> I love it. It was so obviously going to happen as well, wasn't it? I thought he'd have done it the turn before. But yeah, instant mummy GFA into death. Well, that's really swung it back. Two removals. Three removals. What normal dice? <laughs> normal dice is my new favourite. <laughs> my new favourite Blood Bowl thing is is normal dice. Also, that's a new little bug that they have where you know they'll finish and then the. The thing just stays on them, like the UR kind of stays on them as doing GFIs and switching to all this going, which is pretty annoying. Normal dice. Well, this is the thing, isn't it, right? Like, rolling a 7 on 2d6 is the most likely result, but it's still unlikely, isn't it? And that's the thing about, like, you know, wanting normal dice. It's, uh, it's very unlikely that you'll get like, you know, this, you know, the, the expected thing or whatever, if you like. Yeah, the best and worst thing, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It really is the best and worst thing, yeah, I like that. No, Russell's in. You can still touch the ball. Goes for the safe block. I might have gone for a 1 in 9 block just so I could have followed and then got the ghoul. I guess the ghoul gets tackled though. Yeah, maybe this is better actually. Now I might have to score early here. That's crazy, isn't it? From it looking amazing to just like basically he knocked uh, he knocked out the mummy, which made it look like a certain turn eight stall, and then he got his own mummy Kaz, which made it look like oh shit, you better score in five. What a difference! Is he um? Is he gonna try and stall this? The problem is he's gonna make the one in nine. And even then, it's still not guaranteed. Oh, Seabro's player names. Super League winner, Fua. I guess that's why they just keep kept them all, right? Because he is the champ, Seabro's. Unfortunately for him, the final was halfway through this current season. Um, so he didn't really get to bask in the glory of it for as, as long as other winners did. But he is indeed Super League Champion. Fua. So this is a uh, potential chaining the ghoul on here, right, to hitting the ball. But he's already moved the tackler. The tackler was here, right? He could have blitzed the ball with tackle.
actually. Well, I really liked putting him in there and then hitting, then hitting the ball somehow, but we're not doing that. We're just going to dodge. And dodge with him as well, I guess. Just double dodge. Which isn't crazy, right? Like, 8 out of 9, they're both dodges are 8 out of 9. Probably why I would have scored as Artemis here. You just can't realistically defend the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gets the full pow. Do you push him on to tackle? No, pushes him back. <laughs> Casses him. <laughs> and catches it. <laughs> Sorry, Artemis, but it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> it's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Skulls! <laughs> oh dear god. Oh, actually amazing. <laughs> he should have scored, yeah. Yeah, he should have scored, honestly, yeah. I really, really like the scoring on turn five. As bad as score, scoring early is, it's better than if this... Which wasn't that unlikely, right? The two one and nine dodges, and then it's 2D... Getting him down like 55 with a re-roll, so like you know, and Seabro still had all three re-rolls, so it was pretty. It was pretty easy. Shit cheerleaders there, but great cheerleaders here. Fwa, halfling cheerleaders. That's what we like to see. Hello, Rog. Oh my God, what a laugh. <laughs> oh, <hey! laughs> oh Bros! Why did you GFI, Seabros? Why did you GFI? Why? <laughs> Didn't even regen. Oh my god. What was the purpose of the GFI? A succulent GFI. He was well within range. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, he, yeah, he wasn't. Right. Was it only one GFI? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, he had to do three. Yeah, he's only got two turns left. I was thinking he had three more. I don't know, I was being stupid. So, no, he did have to do the GFIs. He had to do the GFIs, so you might as well do them early. Because then it gives you a chance to pick up the other ones if it fails and you die. <laughs> But I guess the problem is it leaves the if you die, then it gives out the chance to score back. What a crazy game it's been already, yeah. Yeah, he did actually have to do the GFIs. I thought he was doing one of those pointless GFIs isn't getting you out of range, but yeah, it was so late in the half, he did have to do three GFIs to score. I guess there was an argument for not doing it so that, you know, I limit the chance of the count to score. But... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a hilarious half. <laughs> There's nowhere for Art to go, though, so, I mean, he's almost certainly going to get 2 d by Wrestle. Well, he's, he is Wrestle anyway, so it doesn't even matter who. Where? He can't do it with a zombie, can he? He can't even do a uh, safe hit, can he? He's just got a 2D with a zombie and assist with a zombie. Gets the push. Oh, might score and turn it as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, okay, lad. It is pretty funny, isn't it? I mean, that was that was pretty hilarious. Oh, wrestles him down, and he's still got the blodger can dodge. I mean, I think that's all you have to do, right? Like, yes, you can make this block, but what if it's a skull? It's a disaster. So you just have to dodge out and pick up. Man, what a wild half. The, the swings of KO'd Mummy into Kaz Mummy, no regen. Into not scoring. Into ghoul dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and this guy getting this guy dying as well to when he dropped the ball, didn't he? It's absolutely crazy, crazy how the KOs are going to be monumental, aren't they? Actually, if this mummy comes back, oh the Garda, the mummy and the Garda, and the Garda for out. So three huge KO rolls. He has to zombie dodge here, right? He has to uh, block with one of them and then assist with the other. Let's follow. So this one has to go and assist and then this one dodges and blitzes him. Full pals. Ball scatters to here. And then this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Passes, uh, GFI's hands off to him, scores. Oh wait, no. Yeah, that's right. He's three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI, pass. Just do the one D. Okay. Is it worth doing the GFI to double the chance of the knockdown? Probably not, because you, yeah, you, you have the time you end the turn, don't you? Wow, that was dumb thinking he had to dodge the other one. The dodge is stupid, isn't it? He just has to one D power. Of course, it does. I'm sorry, I was an idiot. If he had a re-roll, the dodge would have been better. But, um, yeah, he just had a 1D panel. Alright. Double, double rush to hit the tackler. Let's go. Into death, probably the way this game's gone. But yeah, three huge kills. Like this zombie doesn't matter so much, but uh, the mummy and the white and this white are all huge. Didn't GFI? D didn't double GFI? Tragic. Not sure about this foul at all. I mean, I know it's a ghoul. And that you don't usually regen, but um, that was pretty rowdy. Mummy stays out. Garda returns. Garda stays out. So, that was a bit fair, I guess. Somewhat fair. <laughs> I mean, Art will look at it as... Three out of four didn't go his way. But at least... Like, one was only a lineman, right? At least it was the mummy on the other side. But, uh... Ten players? And still 11 for Seabros. Pretty good having 13 players. Wait, how has he got 14? Because <gasps> he killed it. Because he killed the uh, he killed the ghoul, so that gave him a 14th place. So that's how he still got 10. Amazing. <laughs> kill. I was bamboozled a little bit. Yeah. So. Seabros had the has the numbers advantage and the player quality, right? They're both down a ghoul and a mummy. Art's also down the guard blitzer, so 
Another touchback. There's a lot of touchbacks, isn't there, with the uh, with the weather, the changing weather. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I guess it's good that like it matters sometimes, but like it doesn't affect what you do. You still kick it in the middle every time, don't you? Yeah, maybe it would be good if, like, you know, if the ball scattered less by default so that, you know, you could you could do risky kicks that would then be more affected by bad weather so there'd actually be some thinking involved instead of you just, you always kick it at the target square anyway and it's just a random thing that happens sometimes. Interestingly, I, I hate Seabro's ball position here. I always hate it when they just right up behind, like, just... just I, for me, one behind is so much better. Like, what if he quad schools there or whatever? Or here, like, or one in 81s. You know, I, I just feel like you might as well just have a little bit of space in between. One of my pet peeves. I don't know that it's particularly worse. It just it just feels worse to me. Now, you know, that this guy could get blitzed by a mummy, couldn't he? And then you've got a mummy on the ball. And I just don't, like, that might not be a good thing. But I'd still rather my opponent not have the chance to ever do it. Yeah, true or don't true, true. True, instant stabilisation. Oh, still 10v11. Crucial mighty blow bangs. Yeah, die oh yeah. Tragedy. So many so many names are gone from the Blood Bowl scene. Well the Blood Bowl online scene. Blood Bowl tabletop is thriving, isn't it? But Blood Bowl Online is uh is tragic somewhat. I think uh See, Bros will just 3D back with this guy, right? That's pretty nice. Gets him over to one side, which isn't terrible. Keeps the ball t super safe. Blood Bowl 4. Yeah. Hopefully there'll be like a special edition of Blood Bowl 3, right? I don't... I don't think they'll be doing Blood Bowl 4 anytime soon. I think they look like, you know, they'll probably do like a Blood Bowl 3 Legendary or whatever. And then like change the rules to Season 3. And like, it'll basically be like a new release, won't it? A new launch, and that might get them some more money. Hopefully. I, I hate blitzing on two dice here, by the way. Hate blitzing on two guys. I don't know what true in the stories. People have said that they've got a license for three games, but I don't know if that's true or if it's bollocks. Oh, I'm blitzing with mighty blows, good Dimmy. I just I would have blitzed this guy, so I could have done it on three dice and had my mummy protected as well. Like, it was not as if it would have exposed the mummy to blitz the other one on three days. Yeah, it's going to take so long to catch up. Blood Bowl 3 to catch up is going to take so long, isn't it? There's, there's like 19 teams. There's still 10 teams. That's like, th you know, nearly three years to, to catch up. It's crazy. Look at that, that tackler was exposed and KO'd. And now it's 10 versus 10 and basically equal quality on the field. Art has lost guard, but Seabros has lost tackle. They're both down a Mamina Ghoul and they've both got 10 players. But of course, Seabros is in the driving seat, having successfully defended, and the score is 0 0. Interesting. Mm. 
It is indeed Rimbo. The in the Discord, there's a pinned link support for the Super League. Yeah. So you'd hope Blood Bowl 3 would update to the new rules, right, that are supposedly coming out in 2025. It is Super League, yeah. Yep. The glorious best of the best. That has been the way, yes, Randall, yep. That has indeed been the way of G dubs. Um I don't understand why I don't understand this. This looks like he's not blitzing the mummy. Like this is like the best blitz. Why is he tagging? Why is the ball here? This is no I hate this. I actually hate this, right? This blitz gets you to gets this guy powed. And then this guy 2D block and this guy 2D block and, and fouling the mummy as well. I really, really like this blitz. I love that blitz. Wow. Super interesting from Sea Bros to not make the mummy on mummy blitz. Where hey, Christy B. Way. One rule per season. <laughs> yeah, we've had some good Super Leagues. I won one. Way. Uh, C Bros won one. And, uh, you know, some of the usual crowd, some new new faces. Strider, Diamond, Olivier Dulac. Pretty glorious. <laughs> Shit and run. I really, I really like blitzing the mummy. I don't know why I didn't uh, do that. Dimmy G is is currently winning. Yeah, he's the best. He's the champ. Almost certain to win Super League is Dimmy. And yes, Euro Bowl rules as well. It's all Euro Bowl rules. So no, Dimmy had already been in it before. With a fantastic performance of one one four, was it? Something like that. But this time, glorious. Absolutely glorious this time. Only a push. Genius from C Bros, not to blitz the mummy there, he only rolled pushes. Now it's Slimmy G, yeah, now it's Slim Dim, it's uh It's gonna dominate. He's not here to take part, he's here to take over. This looks pretty shit for C Bros, doesn't it? His guard is down. Mummy's on two here. This mummy is somewhat stranded. You can just 2D with block, right? You can 2D this mummy with block. Probably should have done that before a blockless block. Honestly. I feel like, you know, this guy in... Blitz the mummy first, it's pretty good. The problem is, that means this guy's still getting punched, so you've got to protect him a bit. Jump, jump, jump. Oh shit, he's just going forward. Wow. Um, wow, okay, this I do not like. This I do not like at all from Seabrows. Which is why it's a removal. <laughs> um, 
Unbelievable. Is he going to go back into here and then, like, I don't know what he's doing. I've really got no idea what his plan was before now. <laughs> Is he on drugs? I don't know. This is weird. Weird stuff from Sea Bros. Uphills. He should have obviously up he should have obviously uphilled the mummy, right? With the other one. It's way better. Way better uphilling the mummy. Because you're not getting hit with mighty blow and you might knock him over. Or like both down, right? Both down's a great result there. And like you know. You're kind of slightly less likely to work, but if it works, it's like so much better, right? You get him a further square away and stuff. Like you're 55% to go down yourself, but you take him with you, so you might not even pick it. And then if you do take him with you, then he's got to stand up next turn. Like that's way better than failing the dodge. So it's only 30% to properly fail. So yeah, I think he should have uphilled. This is a bit of a Jim Cage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't the best. I mean, it's just about good enough, I guess. But it's still a 5 plus for art, which is more than he could have asked for at the start of the drive. Doesn't get it. I like going for the re-roll there. He's not realistically going to get better than a five plus. Imagine if he hadn't re. If imagine if he hadn't re-rolled the tackler, where would he have gone? What would he have done? I've got no idea. Yes, this does. I guess yes, this does free the zombie guaranteed next turn, as long as he doesn't get his armor broken. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> The upside of this is Art will one in nine. <laughs> Maybe concede. And uh okay, didn't get his didn't get his mummy dead. And actually the the upside is that this zombie's here now to stand up and beat him off. So we can beat him off. And maybe just double GFI score. Oh, removal, but well, he's definitely going to try to not score now. He can run back with a ball, right, and, and hit this guy and stuff. Oh, my God. That was so weird, him running forward like that. I don't know what he was thinking, really. <laughs> there we go, everything removed. His idea was to just simply cage when there were no players left alive. <laughs> What's your plan, Zebros? Just literally remove everything and then and then I'll be able to have a safe cage. <laughs> Easy. I wouldn't say this is normal dice, no. I'd say this is a dicey. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it was close before then, but this is, uh, this is, uh, well, okay, no, he's still not really bothering the cage. Some would say it's a mistake. Why aren't you just caging, Zebra? Just blitz this guy in cage? What the hell? Why doesn't he want a cage? Is he just trying to tilt Art? Is he just like, hopefully I'll get Art an embolism? Is that is that his plan? <laughs> what the hell? You can jump. Three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. 
That is a good 1D. 5 plus again. First, <laughs> he's got to fill the GFI. Gets a full pal! Whee! <laughs> Punished for just literally not even trying to cage. It's so weird by Sea Brawls, I don't understand it at all. The last two turns from Sea Brawls, I just don't get at all. Literally at all. Completely bizarre, just running up there to hit the tackler like, without a plan on how to cage. Like, he was literally only able to because he removed the tackler. And then here he just could have blitzed the zombie and had a full cage and just didn't even try. Really weird. Or maybe he was just trying to get the ball on a zombie. <laughs> Go for another GFI and pick it up on your mummy yard. Go on. Go on, lad. He's invincible. He's strength five. Yes! <laughs> and he rolled another one. <laughs> you could have literally bet any amount of money on that being a one, couldn't you? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is just basically Sea Bros adding, like, just mental health punishment to art, isn't it? <laughs> so he, he just deliberately... <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> was it a snake? Um, yeah, of course it was, wasn't it? No, no, did he? Yeah, he used his last reroll on the snake, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course it was. Oh my god. Now he might keep the ball safe just because he hasn't got any choice. <laughs> yeah, well done. Well done, Seabros. <laughs> it's actually. <laughs> he removed so many players. There was literally no way for him to get the ball in danger. <laughs> wow. Flip me. What a game. What a game. Incredible. A hey, fair play to what? This might be the only game this season that Art hasn't conceded. And uh, honestly, we wouldn't have had half the hilarity if he had conceded. So I appreciate that he didn't. Oh my god, uphill, nearly got him. Incredible. Oh, what a laugh. <laughs> That's been very a very fun game to watch. I'm sure not too fun. The, well, the thing is, when they're so one-sided like this, it starts to get fun again, doesn't it? Because you just start laughing at how stupid it is. So, um, so hopefully, Art's got to that point and not to the point of, I hate this game, it's a joke, blah, blah, blah. What a game. <laughs> it was actually like pretty close and fun for the first uh, the first half, but the, and some of the second half as well, and then it just uh, just went a bit silly, didn't it? Ha ha ha!
Absolutely incredible. Oh look, Seabrose is so unlucky his mummy stayed KO'd. What a Dyson. Oh man. Incredible. <laughs> I really don't know what, what Zebros was thinking with some of those turns, but it sure it sure worked out. <laughs> if Aunt if Aunt scores this one turn, you know. I mean it's not it's just physically not possible. I know it's not possible. I don't need to offer him a grand or anything. It's he could get a riot, right? He could set up for the timeout. He could set up for a timeout. And also could get put touchback. Timeout and touchback, I guess you could set up for a ball. No. Well there you go. There you go, a 1 0 win for Seabros. What an absolutely crazy game. <laughs> the biggest dicing we've seen. <laughs> because Art didn't concede when he was already pissed off. He got to get diced even more. So that's, that's fun, isn't it? Uh, very, very funny game, yep. So there you go. Commiserations to Artemis. Congratulations to Seabros. And uh, that puts Seabros top of the league for the time being. Um, there are two other games this week, which, wait, that's an old game, fuck, okay, that's that's the wrong week, bear with me, I, I'm sorry, I thought I had it up to date, I, I, did, I have done the graphic, I just haven't, I haven't changed the source, here we go. So Seabros versus Artemis, 1-0 win to Seabros, we've got Core versus Bright, and Olivier versus Strider. So, there's a chance. It's it's looking pretty good for Seabros. I, th I think it's looking pretty good for Seabros. The fact that, that Olivier and Strider are playing each other makes it look very good for Seabros. But there is a possibility of like some kind of draws and stuff and I'm not sure how the head to head goes but um yeah that's unbelievable isn't it what a what a what an unbelievable art five losses out of five unbelievable um also oh, Seabros beat bright you are sure did you beat did you beat strider I could have I could have looked this up, couldn't I? <laughs> um, but Strider's playing Olivia, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So if he wins, he's on seven. So then Olivia doesn't get his point. Yeah. So yeah, you should be safe then. Yeah. So it looks like Seabros has indeed qualified. Congratulations, Seabros. I'm sorry if it's incorrect. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's the schedule. Oh, they haven't got the scores on. Well, that's good, isn't it? I should have I should have kept the update of the scores, but I did not. And uh, there you go. And Group A, give you a little group of little look at Group A. That's that's me at the bottom <laughs> with one win out of four. And if I lose my last one versus Dimmy, then I will be bottom to Hiru because Hiru beat me. So there you go. And uh, yeah, Souls on top at the moment. It's, it could be a four-way tie. If Tree beats Andy and I beat Dimmy, we'll have a four-way tie at the top of the group. So, um, unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'll, I, what happened was, I'll tell you what happened. The first game was versus Misspelled Tree, and I just randomly, for no reason, let 
let her server player turn one. I just moved up two squares of the sideline, no defense or anything. Oh, there's a frenzy dancer. Bosh, served. Second turn, didn't think at all, just blitzed with a troll. One in nine. Oh, well, last turn I had a player surf. There's still a player surfable. So that player got surfed there, so I just start with nine players on defense. Which isn't a good start, to be honest. Um, starting on nine players for no reason. And still did some things on defense. I still did some things on defense, so if I feel like if I hadn't done that, I might have, you know, maybe got a draw or a win. Um, however, I got diced as well. I broke AV three times. <laughs> I broke AV three times against Wood Elves. So I did get I did get diced in addition to my horrendous first turn. Um, versus Hiru, I can't really remember much about the game. I know it beat me 2 0. I think I, I feel like I got some bad dice, but um, it didn't feel a good matchup. I'll put it that way it didn't feel a good matchup versus Hiru, uh, versus Necro. And then, um, so that was a two losses to start with. Then I managed to beat Sol. Obviously, I had some good dice to, to, win, to win against Sol, otherwise, I wouldn't have won. Like, it's a dice game, right? It's not as if, like, you know. You get diced every game and win 80% of the time. <laughs> um, so so at this point, I'm on one win and two losses, which means I have to be Andy, and he's got the same team as Hiru, which means I basically have to dice him because Hiru's already beat me 2-0. I know how bad the matchup is. I, I feel like I had bad dice versus Hiru, but not like horrendous dice, right? So I don't know. I can't really remember, but I didn't feel like I had horrendous dice versus Hiru. So I thought... Well, I've pretty much got a dice Devo here because he knew he knew a draw was good, right? So he he's basically playing for a draw. So if he has to, so it was horrible for me. And then so I thought, right, I've just got to try and get lucky. And not only did I not get lucky, I got unlucky, so lost. So if I played Andy first, maybe we'd have drawn, maybe right, because I would have approached the game differently. So maybe I could have drawn Andy in the, if I played him first. And on another day, maybe I could have drawn or beat Hiru on another turn. It may, another day, I maybe it would have beaten Tree, but uh, unfortunately, I definitely played. I played badly twice, one of which was on purpose against Andy. Like I did play purposely bad on Andy, right? Because versus Andy, because I was trying to get the victory. Um, I think if I played better, like if I played normally, I would have had more chance of getting a draw, but ironically, less chance of getting a win. Um, so there you go. That's been my tournament, and it's it's not been pretty. Um, but there you go. Nice little summary there for anyone who cares. And uh, But yeah, this game was great for Sea Bros. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.